silent and weary, the Tower of the Dead Man, or of the Dead Men, overlooks the Bay of Leuka. It is a distant testimony of the warning system of the coastal towers of Terra do Trento, wanted by the Emperor Charles V of Habsburg, in order to defend the Salento coasts from enemies coming from the sea. The tower communicated in the past with the Torre Marcello along the northwest axis of the coast and with the tower of Philip II positioned on the Melisa. The coastal territory of Castrignano del Capo preserves very ancient testimonies of human presence. Many artifacts recovered at Punta Ristola during the excavations promoted by the Institute of Archaeology of the University of Lecce date back to the Bronze Age. In this area, there must have been a settlement linked to the small agricultural pastoral economy, as evidenced by various fragments of ceramics and bones of farmed animals. The passage of man in antiquity was facilitated by the presence in the territory of numerous ravines and natural cavities, nowadays mostly found along the Liugan coast. The marine cave system extends from the Capo di Santa Maria di Leuca up to the Chardo locality in the direction of the Marina of San Gregorio. Some caves have preserved very important paleontological traces, like remains of animals belonging to warm climates, including the elephant and the rhinoceros. The coastal system offers a unique beauty of its kind, characterized above all by the traditional toponymy of the caves, names coined by the ancient fishermen of the place to record the forms and recurring features, such as the cave of the three doors, that of the giants and that of the devil. Even the hinterland preserves important traces of the ancient human presence in the territory of Leuca. Examples are the caves placed along the sides of the Canaloni that cross the territory from the coast in a northerly direction. There are more than 43 recorded caves, impervious environments to be reached and used as settlements and safety shelters when the coast became insecure due to frequent attacks from the sea. Nestled within the Costa Otranto Regional Nature Park Santa Maria di Leuca and Bosco di Tricase, the coastline of Leuca contains a magnificent scenic beauty a must for all visitors to Salento. Walking along the boardwalk, you can see the lovely shades of the promontory of Melisa, covered by a thick embroidery of Mediterranean vegetation and crossed by the monumental waterfall, a walk that celebrates the end of the long water network of the Apulian aqueduct. Leuca's one is an ancient history, a story that still today attracts thousands of visitors and tourists. Unique places to immerse yourself in the discovery of a spontaneous Salento, caressed by the breeze of the Ionian and enchanted by the picturesque landscapes which here on the coasts of Leuca are off the charts.